Hello everyone. Today we are looking at the story block and binder integration, how to install it into your story block space, and then how to use the binder integration in your story block space. Let's click on the app directory to start. Once the app directory is open under apps categories, select asset management, then binder, and then install in the top right corner. And congratulations, you have now installed the binder integration into your story block space. Now let's see how it actually works. Select content on the left hand side, and then the particular page that you would like to edit. And on the left, you will see the live preview of the page itself. Now let's scroll down to the asset that we would like to change and say today we would like to edit this background image. Click on it. On the right hand side, since it's a background image, select background. And we've now found that particular asset. In order to get binder up and running, click on edit field. Under field type, select plugin. Under custom type, you can type in binder and find the story block dash binder custom type, which will then bring up a few more options. You'll want to copy and paste the access token that story block has provided, as well as your own binder portal domain. Hit save and back to fields save again and then we can close this it's important to note here that in order to seamlessly use the binder integration and to be able to see a preview of your assets from within binder your developers need to integrate the visual editor with your own front end application let's continue under the background image that we wanted to change we can now click add asset and you will see your binder asset manager up and running. We can scroll down and find a particular asset we would like to add here. Scroll down all the way to the bottom, select add asset and congratulations. You have now added your binder asset into your story block space.